Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, we've got some interesting new mod modules in uh, today, so I'm going to talk about them. This is the MQ3 breathalyzer module for Arduino. Uh, it doesn't have to be used with Arduino, I've used it with a PIC. Uh, the great thing about this is there's actually an analog and digital output. I'll talk about those in a second. Now, if you haven't heard about the MQ3, uh, it's a, uh, a nonlinear alcohol sensor. Now, uh, when I say that there's two outputs, analog and digital, the analog uh, you'd use if you wanted to interface it with an analog to digital converter. Uh, digital, uh, the digital output is basically a zero or a one, and you can. So if you blow into it, uh, it's actually active high. So if you don't have any alcohol in your breath, you know, it, it would, nothing will happen. It'll stay at five volts. Uh, and using this onboard potentiometer, you, there's an onboard comparator, so you can actually calibrate it to uh, switch from five volts to zero volts, depending on how, how many how much alcohol you have in your bloodstream. But I'll give you a demonstration right now. So right now, um, it requires five volts, about 150 milliamp circuit, because there's a coil in the actual sensor. Again, this is the this is the backside. Four pins, five volts out uh, ground, the D out and A out. So I'll turn it on, and uh, what I'll do is I'll have you look at the scope, my oscilloscope. So automatically, this is digital out. Um, it looks like it's on the uh, my my reference is actually down here. So this is this is five volts. So what's going to happen is uh, again, you can calibrate this to to uh, swing down to zero volts after two beers, one beer, half a beer, five beers, or you know a lot more. You just have to do some playing with it. It's just it just comes with some experimentation. So uh, right now, what I'll do is I'll take a nice big swig of my frosty Corona. Now watch the output of the oscilloscope. It goes low. And then goes back to high. So again, if I fiddle with the potentiometer, um, I could make it so that I could blow from back here and, and, and it would detect it. It's a very uh, sensitive um, module. Really well built. So again, goes from high to low. Now if, if I didn't have any alcohol in my breath, um, that wouldn't happen no matter what, you know, you, you, you can do some calibration with it. The, uh, the analog output is fixed, so you don't ever have to worry about calibration. Now let's have a quick look at the analog output. I'll just switch the, uh, I'll just switch my probe here. Change the uh, voltage for division so you have a better look at this. All right, take another swig. and then it falls back down. So uh, that's where you'd interface an ADC. You'd, you'd put an analog to digital converter on that. I've got two breathalyzer circuits that can be seen, uh, uh, that can be seen on YouTube uh, that actually have, uh, they use an analog to digital converter to determine how much, how much alcohol is actually in your bloodstream. So again, one last demonstration, and uh, if you're interested, go to www.engineeringshock.com and, and register with us. We have awesome deals, and uh, we do we can we do combined shipping. So just ask us a question if you have any. One last uh, one last swig of beer, and that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Off the map.